running away from me. You see things other people don't, so. Family History Mysteries. Buried Past. All new. Sunday, January 8th at 7. Only on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. It's actually pretty good. This is a Hallmark original movie, of course. This stars, of course, the lovely Janelle Parrish. You have other actors, of course, like Morgan David Jones, Neil Matter, Sherry Miller, Kiana Teresa, and Bruce Harrick, and Ron Leah. And the premise of this is we follow a genealogist played by Janelle Parrish named Sophia McLaren. And she's an expert at bringing families together. When her close friend Jonathan urgently needs to find a bone marrow donor, the case becomes personal. It is no secret that I am not a fan of the Hallmark movies, most of the romantic side of things. I think all of it is just cliched, boring, and lame, and just very stilted. It's, they're not as bad as the Fifty Shades of Glory movies, but they're just not my type of thing. But when it comes to this, I wanted to give this a chance and see what the fuss was about. And I actually wanted to see what could they do to make this entertaining? What could they do to make it fun and to make it entertaining? So I wanted to give this a chance. And so that being said, I have since now seen this and twice and it's a pretty good, compelling Hallmark thriller. If this is supposed to be the first in the series, I would like to see more of these family history mysteries because this is kind of up my alley. And this was actually really compelling here. Easily, I would say the best thing that you're coming for when it comes to this, the best thing you're coming for is, of course, you have a very engaging story here that could easily be cliched we have seen this before but i think the way it's executed in this direction is actually quite competently handled so i will give you that it's well handled it's well done and i did like a lot of what this provided so it's actually well handled in that by Jonathan Wright, who's the director, and Amber Benson and Brandon Bonner. So, I'm, and yes, it's the same Amber Benson who was on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So, so I'm actually pretty surprised that she actually. This is very well done in terms of his, his writing and direction. It's not the most outstanding thing you're gonna see. But I do think for the most part, 100% is giving you lead. She is a genealogist who wants to bring families together and re by researching their past. So if they do more of this, and they, this is a good one for our main, main actress here. The main thing I will say is the performance of Janelle Parrish is the reason to watch this, or Janelle Parrish Long. She has done stuff like the Bratz movie, which I have reviewed, that's on my channel. That movie is terrible now, in my opinion. And she's done stuff like To All the Boys I Love Before trilogy, and she did Pretty Little Liars and PLL The Perfectionist. This is Mona Vanderwall. Very conflicting as hell character. Overall, I think she does give a solid performance in what she's going for here. I do like her. She also have Neo Matter as Jackson. She does have some good chemistry with him. I like their little spark that they have. But it's really Janelle Paris she was making this work because she's giving it her all. And she carries this. This could have easily went the usual Hallmark lifetime route, but she does give in to it. And she does commit to it. So I will give you that. The rest of the cast is pretty hit and miss. Some of the hits here are Morgan David Jones, you also have Laura Wilson, and then Alice Hammett and Catherine Stella Duncan, Stephanie Herrera, and then you have some who are just, and also Carlisle's Jay Williams. But also, there's some people in the cast here that's not really that strong here. 
and some of the, the performances are, can be a little bit too over the top. It's mostly a good set of actors who's doing doing a good job here. Cinematography and acting and editing and music is it's a Hallmark movie, so I won't go too harsh on it. But it is competent in this in this setting and what it set out to do. And by the end of the movie, I was thrilled. I was engaged, and, and I enjoyed the journey that was going on for the hour and twenty-four minutes here. Issue the the main issues. This has, of course, you do have some acting that's not very good. Some characters who can be underutilized. That some get more due than others, and it is the usual iffy writing. So I will definitely give you that. Some of the writing here is a little not very good. Some of it is very... Some is like you go into that usual Hallmark-esque type dialogue sometimes. And some of the movie can be a little slow, especially on rewatch, but for both of these, both of the times I watched this, you have a good story to back you up, you have a good drama thriller aspect, and you have some compelling character work here, even if it's not 100% Oscar-worthy type. In the conclusion, I will say, family history mysteries, if you are a fan of these type of Hallmark mysteries, or just Hallmark in general, you'll like this. If you're, if you're like me, and someone who's not big on the Hallmark stuff, especially does, I it may not be your thing, but I would say give this a watch if only for the engaging plot and for the compelling performance. I would walk away giving this one a highly recommend it, of course, because it's actually worth a watch. And I was genuinely shocked at how much I quite liked this. Just saying a whole lot. Well, that's going to do it for the video that you just watched. If you want to see more, my channel icon is up here. If you want to see more content from me, all my social medias are right here in this end card. I will also leave a playlist and a video here for you to see what the channel is about. As always, acknowledge me, stay epitastic, join the epitastinists, and you guys keep it cool.